All right, guys, welcome back, aka Spencer Dunbar here, and today we are doing an update on the 1K Dividend Account Challenge. I know it's been a while since I did a video. I'm actually a week late, but let me tell you, life has been extremely busy, so I'm glad to be home and jump back into all of this. So right now we're looking at the 1K Dividend Account that I set up just for this challenge, specifically on YouTube, and it's been performing extremely well. We can see this is the entire history of the account. It was started in January. It did bounce around a ton. We hit some all-time highs in July, which is insane. We went up a total of $100 over our initial $1,000 investment. It has fallen off a little bit since in the past couple of days, but we're going to talk about the dividends that paid out this month, how much they were, and how they compared to our other months. As always, thank you guys for spending some time with me. Let's talk about money. So, this is the entire account value right now, sitting at $1,070, almost exact 45 cents off. Six month graph is looking good. The last couple months have been performing really well in the market and I'm pumped to see it. Now let's go down and we'll see exactly what has been making the most money. What has made us the most money so far, just price appreciation wise now. These dividend stocks don't appreciate in price typically very well. We can see that MPW is actually our biggest loser so far, down almost 30% now. That is costing us quite a bit of money, um, $28. So we got just about 100 in there. That one is the biggest loser so far. Uh, it's been moving all over the place. For those of you that don't know, MPW is a REIT, and they had basically some bad news, some bad press, and it's a little bit skeptical. There's some skepticism in the market about how that one's going to perform because a lot of debt is owed to them, and people are struggling to pay back debt. And some of the companies that owe them a lot of money in debt are on the brink of, I'm not going to say bankruptcy because I don't know if it's bankruptcy. They're just, they're not paying back the debt, and no one really knows why because it's hidden in the details, I'm sure. Um, Zim is another one down 10%. Of course, that one paid out some insane dividends, uh, which we've seen in the past couple months. But there is talk of people said that they are cutting their dividend. I could not find much about that. I found like one article, but I'm not sure if it's true or not. I think what they said was that the next dividend is not guaranteed, which is scary. Um, the price appreciation for Zim has dropped a little bit, um, probably in response to that. Fairly typical. PFLT still up 1%. HRZN up 3%. ARCC up almost 5%, ABR up 20%. So ABR is one of my favorite REITs actually. And what happened with this one, why we're up so high is because it had, it was actually down really heavily at one point, down over 20% in this account. And it had a crazy swing because someone put out a hit piece against ABR, probably a company that wanted to purchase a lot of number of shares. And so the price dropped by like 20 or 30% and then it bounced back up. I'm sure someone made a bunch of money off of that. And they found out that the hit piece was written by some random company that wasn't even like a legitimate company. It's kind of like a shell corporation and I never heard anything about it since then. But overall, really good for us. I did buy some ABR when it dropped in my personal account because I do like that one. SCHD surprisingly down 2%. This was the one everyone loves. I was surprised that this one did not perform well so far. The dividends are minimal, but I guess overall it's probably the safest bet and that's why it's in here to show how it relates to the other stocks. JEPI is up 1%. USOI is up 3%. That one's been interesting. I heard some mixed reviews on USOI. People say it doesn't actually make them money. I should actually research that. I do own some in my own account, I believe. And XYLD up about 4%. So I'm conflicted. I don't know. I think I'll keep Zim in this account until the end of the year. And then I'm going to start over again. I want to know what stocks you guys think I should put in the 1K dividend account challenge for next year because I want to mix it up. I'm thinking about doing some of like the newer ETFs like TSLY some of the uh, yield max ETFs and see how they actually perform. I don't know. I, I wouldn't do Zim again. It's just too speculative and it, we'll see how it performed this year. I like a lot of PFLT, HRZN, ARCC, ABR. Those are all ones I really do like. We could do one that's just based off of ETFs. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and we'll decide kind of from there. So I'm going to exit out of these random messages. We can see here's the month that Zim did extremely well. Zim paid $32 of that $37.50 just that one month and now August, which they're supposed to be paying out another dividend. They haven't paid out yet. Um, if they do pay out, we'll see. It's kind of a big month. So the August review will be really interesting, but again, they're not set in stone that they're going to be paying something out. And if they don't pay something out, I imagine the price will drop pretty heavily, which would not be good. But this August, it was actually supposed to be a really low month as well because they don't count Zim's dividends because they're not specific there it's, it's too risky of an asset or whatever so Schwab doesn't count them prior and there's no information on what they're actually going to be paid out so so far we've only made two dollars in August and we only made six dollars in July 
but we are averaging about $10 a month, most of that because of Zim, uh, which is about $120 per year, which is a 12% yield, which is pretty insane. Pretty insane. So I am I'm definitely pumped with that. Off of the $1,000, we're making $120 every single year. Compound that over who knows how long, boom, you have a good good amount. And that's not including price appreciation. So just an interesting take. Now let's look at the transaction history. Now I'm not going to do the ones from August. We're just looking at July. August will be next week. So we had some reinvesting of ARCC, which was from the prior month. We bought 0.1296 shares. PFLT reinvested. Uh, JP, JEPI reinvested. And then they did pay out... Um, at $54, that's not how much they paid us, that's how much they paid out, which was a repurchase. And so that was 75 cents that we made off of that. And that again was purchased right back into it. Um, MPW paid $2.40, which is good. Really, I mean, really good for the, but they're really beaten down. So their yield is really high right now. HRZN paid out almost a dollar, 91 cents. MPW reinvested, HRZN reinvested. And cash from USOI was $1.18, which is pretty low. USOI, they're kind of all over the place. But overall, just kind of a, a mundane um, month. You know, $6 in dividends is not terrible, but it's not phenomenal. Um, these are all kind of the safer bets because these are not the big months in the market for payouts. That would be April and August, supposedly. Our bigger payers should pay out in August. So that's why these this month has been a little bit lacking. But overall, we're making a good, a good amount of money. We are, let's go back to the account summary. We are net positive by $70. We were net positive by $100, which is pretty wild. So the fact that we're making $100 in dividends and we're up $70, um, which is, I don't even know, 0.7%. My math might be wrong on that, guys. It's been a long couple of weeks. So we're still up. We're up on the account value. We're up in dividends. It's being reinvested, compound interest. We'll see how much money we pull out with at the end. I don't think this account is going to go crazy and go to 2000 but I mean, it'd be nice. With these dividends, you're making that consistent income. You're having consistent price appreciation, and it's fun. It's really fun to track. I have a ton of other videos out on dividends. My financial coaching business has been taking a lot of my time, and I've been loving that, but it's been keeping me super busy, so my content has been lacking, and I will be working on that soon, trying to get some more content out for you guys finding some new dividend stocks talk about other stocks that i've been looking at tons of stuff's going on in the market we're seeing a really nice bull market they're talking about a crazy bull market going on so follow along if you're interested hit the like button that helped me out so much drop a comment down below on the stocks you think i should put in next year's account the top dividend stocks and join our discord we have like five members six members of the discord now we just go in there we talk random stocks talk what people are buying we have penny stock categories dividends um gains and losses that people have been doing research dd talking about stuff i post a lot of the videos in there as well people to watch so if you're interested in just talking stocks it's free it's fun i you're meeting some new people meeting other investors it's kind of hard to meet investors um sometimes if you're a specific age category or something like that so we have room for everybody in there so jump in um hound has been working in there he's been doing some phenomenal work on everything making it look super good so shout out to him um as always guys i thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one